Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on splatter tool um, or splatter node in the designer. So we have this splatter which has got one input, okay? And uh, we need to connect some shape uh, to this so I'm going to take a polygon here and we have another polygon which is a uh, bit soft so you can take any one of them and then just connect it and then when you open up the splatter you have this all uh, polygon repeated just like a grid okay so it's all about controlling how this placements is what you have here so we have the pattern width uh, so firstly let me reduce the grid number uh, so that you can see less number of uh, objects here so we have pattern size width which is uh, going to control your objects width uh, it's okay to explore this in uh, the viewer so I'm going to take a base material and then I select the base material and then reduce the metallic value and then enable the height and connect that to the height and then just view it in the 3d so you could able to see that result here okay we can instead take a sphere and then we can increase the grid number okay so that's uh, how it is so we have uh, the width of this object okay and then we have the height of the object so you can use a combination of that um, to get the square shape okay you can use the reset button here to reset all of them so width controls the width of that shape and this one controls the height of the shape and uh, I'm getting something really interesting there with that okay let's reset it back then we have the rotation so we can rotate this uh, shape so you can connect any shape and you get that rotation happening there okay so then uh, when we do the rotation we can control the rotation variation can randomize this uh, objects orientation from each other uh, so we have a zoom which can actually uh, magnify sorry magnify this okay so again I'm going to reset it's it just scales it okay we have the gain value for that I'm going to choose this gradient type and then try exploring the gain here so when I change the gain value the it becoming more flat rather than uh, that soft in the center okay so when I increase the gain that's giving giving that nice bevel look on it okay so that's uh, the gain for you so we have uh, okay I reduce the grid so we have this pan option so we can uh, move that texture in x and y axis so i'm going to reset it again we have disorder for that i'll slightly increase the grid number then i increase the disorder okay so what that actually does is it randomizes the position of this so let me increase the grid number furthermore and then show you the um, disorder result okay so when we have the disorder uh, we have disorder angle which makes the objects rotate in a circle in its own areas okay we can randomize it okay uh, which makes all objects rotate in different uh, sides so pattern size uh, is ranging between 5 and 12 
it's not showing any uh, effect on the result uh, where we have the width and height uh, size and we have uh, global size here but it's not showing any effect if you are aware of any any use of this let me know um, so I'm going to reset everything back then we have the size variations which makes this all objects of different size very similarly we have the pixel filtering of uh, the textures so you can choose any of this uh, texture filters so we have uh, the output uh, level minimum value so you are trying to clamp out the range of colors and then trying to you know make uh, uh, only certain range of colors visible beyond that uh, range colors should be completely clamped so anything which is uh, starting from mid gray that is from 0 0.5 and above all are now white now if i put this one to 0 0.25 anything be which is less than 0 0.25 is clamped to 0 0.25 okay so that's no that values are never uh, visible again after you have clamped okay so you can change the colors here uh, whatever color you wanted you can generally pick i am choosing the rgb sorry it's srgb I'm, I'm sorry this is srgb and linear is a color space this is only showing up the gray values it's not showing any red or green like that okay so we have uh, floats again uh, if you are expecting um, like generally we have 0 to 255 sorry 0 to 255 range of colors uh, when i choose float it becomes 0 to 1 but uh, values which can be as uh, low as 0 0.002 which can be uh, useful in 32 bit okay and we have luminance variation you can use this to make certain tiles darker and certain tiles brighter with a different range of colors there so this is a very great way of randomizing stones or any decorative items splattered on uh, any object or floors or wall murals you do anything even it can be used in creating some unique textures uh, like um, custard apples or any uh, organic textures which has continuous repeats this uh, would be a great uh, option to you know uh, use so you can generally rely on this uh, for a simple level of controls okay